And now let's take a look at some other stories from around Taiwan. One local company has come up with a creative way to attract and retain graduates. Despite a brain drain caused by salary stagnation and a Chinese campaign to poach talent, the owner has found ways to make this company a pleasant place to work, with a 34 square metre space devoted to employees' leisure activities. The space has everything staff might wish for, including a cinema, bar, massage chair and video games. On the eve of the Dragon Boat Festival holiday, the owner even carved up a 30 kilogram yellowfin tuna in a feast for the employees. They expect staff numbers to increase by 20% or more each year. To celebrate its 131st anniversary, the Taiwan Railways Administration joined hands with Taidong DPP lawmaker Liu Zhaohao to hold a photography exhibition at the Taidong Railway Station, a location chosen for its heavy traffic. Four local photographers were invited to show off their portfolios, and works were also brought in from an earlier mobile phone snapshot competition. The showcase features not only stunning natural views, but also scenes of everyday life from the local vegetable market. What's billed as Japan's largest conveyor belt sushi chain is making inroads in the Taiwan market. The chain opened its first Taiwan location today in the Taipei Main Station Commercial District, aiming to break 100 million NT dollars in annual sales. Enthusiastic hordes of people are waiting to try its offerings, and online bookings are full up until the end of July. A chip is embedded in every plate of sushi, so that staff can easily track how long it's been on the belt and the number of plates sold. 